Now it is your turn to find the mystery numbers. You're going to use your student recording sheet, so your tools, so your hundreds chart and a number line. And you're going to work with a partner to solve these next problems. And I'm going to be your partner. It says, name a number that follows these rules. The number is less than 54 and has a 5 in the tens place. Hmm. So it's less than 54. Let me grab my pen. So if it's less than 54, do we go that way on a number line? Or do we go that way on a number line? Right, we go that way. It's less than 54. So if we were to use our symbols, our less than symbol, it would point that way. So I'm going to fill this number line and I'm going to say, I'm going to write 51, 52, and 53. And it has a five in the tens place. Now I'm going to circle all of my fives in the tens place. I'm going to circle five here. Okay, so do you believe that this is our, these are our mystery numbers, 50, 51, 52, 53? Right, it is because it's less than 54 and has a five in the tens place. Let's look at our hundreds chart. Let's, I'm gonna fill in some, some uh, numbers. I'm gonna go backwards from 59, so 49, 48. I'm going to start there, and then now I'm going to go 50, 51, 52, 53, and 54. I'm going to stop at 54 because it's less than 54. So we don't need to write 55, 56 because those are numbers greater than 54. So if we were to look at the tens place, it says uh, it had this num these numbers have a 5 in the tens place. Do you think 48 and 49 has a five in their tens place? No, they don't, right? So I'm gonna cross these out. It can't be 48 or 59. Now let's look at 50, 51, 52, and 53. Does, do they have a five in their tens place? Right. So I'm gonna circle these numbers. I'm not going to circle 54 because the number is less than 54. So I'm going to cross this out as well. So the ones that I circled are our mystery numbers because they fall with the rules. It's a number that's less than 54 and has a 5 in the tens place. So that's 50, 51, 52, 53, and 53. So we use a number line and a hundreds chart to help us find the mystery numbers. Let's do the next one. It says name a number that follows these rules. The number is in between 23 and 30 and has a 7 in the ones place. So I'm going to fill in this number line. I'm going to do 23. What comes after 23? Right, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, so it also says it has a sevens in the ones place. All right, which number has a sevens in their ones place? Right, 27. Remember, the ones place is here. 27 follows those rule it has a number but it's a number between 23 and 30 and has a seven in the ones place so 27 was our mystery number let's use a hundreds chart as well so let's count from 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17, oh no, let's go really quick, 18, 19, sorry if this is really messy, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27, okay, and 28, and 29. So it's between 23 and 